welcome to Taste Review number six. Yeah, I know, two this week. That's two this week. Um, well, I've been on quarantine because work won't let me come back because I attended a funeral. Not sick, not showing any symptoms. It's a dumb rule, but you gotta follow it. Make sure everybody stays safe, so. All right, as promised, today is our Kit Kat review. So, we have the duos. This is the Mint and Dark Chocolate Kit Kat Duo. Next is another duo. This is the Mocha and Chocolate Kit Kat Duo. And then last but not least, my cousin Savannah, Savannah Latour, everybody. She was the one that kind of came up with this. Like, hey, I found these at a Japanese store, well, Asian store. Um, and these are Kit Kat. These are green tea, green tea flavor. Here's the package if you want to see. Yeah. I read all that. So, green tea. We got three Kit Kats. Let's go ahead and dive in. Got my drink between each one of them. That way I can kind of. Mmm. It's still hot. Clean the palate, you know. That way it flavors. You know, get a fair chance. But um, for these, I will be breaking off just one piece, eating that, giving the first initial review. And then once I've had all three, I'll drink some more coffee. I'll drink coffee between each one, but I'm going to drink some more coffee and give them a second chance. That way, just in case, you know, flavors get mixed or anything like that. So, uh, let's see. What do I want to start? I'll, I'll, I'll start with the mint. Mint's usually pretty strong. So, we'll start with that bad boy. All right. Try not to make a mess here. All right. As you can see, it's got the green and dark chocolate. Um, this almost kind of looks like one of those like Andes mints, you know, real strong mint flavor or smell. I'm sorry. Uh, just like an Andes mint, man, it smells really good. I'm not a big mint guy, but mint and dark chocolate always go together very well. Me staring in the camera like this while I'm chewing, does that freak you out at all? Because when I rewatch it, it always freaks me out. I'm like, what are you doing, you weirdo? But, uh, yeah, I mean, it it tastes like mint and dark chocolate. I mean, it tastes like an Andy's mint on a wafer. That's what it tastes like. So, pretty basic. Good, though. I mean, it's pretty hard to mess up those two flavors right there. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's exactly what I expected. You know, nothing more, nothing different. So, um, if you're a mint person, this is right up your alley. No problem. Yeah. You will not be disappointed. You're not going to be overwhelmed by mint either. It's a good mix between the dark chocolate and the mint. So, good combination. Uh, mint to chocolate ratio to wafer ratio. Spot on. All right. This is the mocha. As you can see, there's little speckles in it. And it has that kind of like light brown creaminess with the chocolate bottom. Not as dark as the mint one, though. It's hard to tell with this lighting, you know. So, sorry. I'm not up in the studio right now. Gage is on some Zoom calls, so I didn't want to disturb him. No. Big man, that Gage guy. Getting big. Definitely has that kind of coffee mocha smell to it. Mm. Hopefully it's as good as it smells. I think I expected more of a coffee taste. You know, that mocha coffee. There's a hint of 
that mocha coffee flavor in there. It's not too strong, so it doesn't overpower. It just tastes like almost like a dulled down um, coffee. Uh, kind of coffee with cream taste, almost like a little watered down, like you didn't have the right coffee mix. Um, I don't know how to explain that. I mean, me being a, I mean, I drink it black most of the time, so it, I expect it a little bit, I guess, richer in coffee taste, but nothing to write home about. Nothing I would, you know, definitely doesn't beat the cereals. The cereals definitely... Hit, had more of that coffee punch than this did, so. All right, let's move on. Been interested in this one. These come in little, little packages. I mean, look at these. These are tiny compared to these. Tiny, like Asians. I can say that because I'm Asian, so stop. All right, ooh, look at these. Look at that green. Look at that. It's like Hulk green. And I'm going to smash. Look at that. So, I guess if you break these apart, it equals one regular size one. So, perfect size. Oh, yeah. Definitely smell that green tea. Ooh. All right. Excuse me, I didn't want to chew and you guys see all that. Definitely green tea punches you right in the face. Definitely green tea. I mean, it is. If you're a green tea fan, this is all you. Those are good. These, these are good. I would buy a whole nother bag of these. Wow. And it almost has like somebody, almost like a creaminess at, like effect at the end. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how they did that, but man. These green tea ones, that is money. I was expecting worse, to be honest. Oh man, yeah, these are a must buy again. Let's go do let's let's do another one real quick. All right, jump right back into this mint one. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do mocha because I didn't think mocha really did much for me, so I'm gonna start with the mocha one. All right, clear my mouth out again. All right, I've already smelled that. I don't need to smell it. Nothing, nothing. I mean, very, very light mocha taste. Nope. I'm not gonna buy those again. Go straight to the map, no washout. Don't need to. I've already reviewed these. Just kind of eating for my pleasure and your pleasure. Instantly, mint overpowers that mocha flavor already. Mm. Mints are a buy again. I could do this again. Um, it's funny because I'm not a big mint guy, but mint candies like Andes and these now, I could eat all day. York peppermint patties? Absolutely not. That's because it's peppermint. It's a different story, though. I almost want to follow them on all the uh, social medias, but I watched that social dilemma the other day. I don't even want to be on social media anymore, but unfortunately, this is all on social media, so. All right, man. Ooh. Instant, just instant. I mean, look at that green. I mean, it's beautiful. Instant green, uh Mmm. Yep, I have a sophisticated palate, so I know what I'm talking about. That green tea is money. Um, as a fan, my favorite is green tea. So, this is number one in today's test review. 
Number two, I'll go with the uh, mint, just because the, you know, it's mint. I mean, you know what you're getting with it. And then the mocha is the last. <laughs> These coffee ones, man, they're, they've disappointed me. Expected more. I wanted a rich, you know, a little bit more rich flavor from that coffee. You know, being a coffee advocate, that's just what I want. Sorry. Uh, if I was a betting man, I would say a lot of people would pick mint first. Probably the mocha and the green tea, just because the green tea doesn't get a lot of love. But like I said, I, I just have a more sophisticated palate than most people. Sorry. But uh, again, thank you for tuning in. That is today's test review. Um, gonna try, maybe get one in before Monday. I'll have to see if I can find some more stuff. Um, everything, a lot of people have been asking for stuff, but man, I gotta order it. And especially like protein bars. I wanna do a protein bar one, but some of the protein bars people want me to try, I gotta order a box of. That's like 25 bucks a box. Help a brother out. Just saying. <laughs> but, again, we'll see if we can get one more in. I'll, I'll go shopping this weekend, see what I can find. See if there's anything I haven't tried. Or if you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments. Let me know. Appreciate your time. Everybody have a great day. And thank you for tuning in with Tokyo.